Hello everyone, welcome back to Ark's Fatalis. There's a couple things to mention before I continue. Uh, one is at the logbook in my inventory, which I noticed that I didn't read before, but then I forgot to read it again. Um, so let's just go ahead and read that before I forget once again. So this is the logbook from the uh, the castle where everybody had been slaughtered. I hope this guard stops muttering to himself. Be quiet. Be quiet. Year 266, White Season, Week of the Rat, Third Day. Today, a little band of goblins tried to attack our outpost. They were drunk and easy to defeat. We have therefore concluded that this was not a planned attack, but that it was due to the huge amounts of alcohol they had consumed. We fought off this attack without much difficulty, but nevertheless lost one of our men, compared to five losses on the goblin side. Okay, White Season, Week of the Mole, second day. An earthquake shook our outpost to the foundation for at least 10 minutes. No damage was done, but I spotted a number of cracks in the passage that leads to our city. Green season, week of the cow, fourth day. I have no idea what the seasons and the week of the cow and what the hell that means. I have no idea how much time has passed. A strange assailant attacked us this morning. He was wearing heavy armor crafted as no other we have ever seen, and he seemed to be invincible. Every movement he made was incredibly precise, and his speed was unrivaled. He did not know the meaning of mercy, for he killed one of my men and seriously injured two more before simply turning and leaving as quickly as he appeared. I his... feel tired. Good for you, guard. His behavior made me suspect that he was sent to establish how strong we were. I think this warrior is merely the first visible signs of a force which is currently growing in the safety of the shadows, and which will one day be powerful enough to annihilate every last one of us. The strange warrior returned. He killed three of my men before I finally managed to kill him. And then, as he lay in the throes of death, he burst into powerful and demonic laughter. I suspected something immediately and ordered my men to retreat as fast as they could. There was a massive explosion which scattered his remains far and wide. No trace of him was left, save his dagger lying on the ground. We were woken early this morning by an earthquake. One of my men informed me that this quake caused a landslide in the passageway that leads to the castle. I am sure help will be here soon. I prefer to wait a while before sending one of my men to bring the news to our beloved king. They are probably aware that the landslide will have consequences for us. May the gods watch over us. Okay, so these rather evil sounding and extremely powerful warriors were testing them out, trying to see how powerful they were. All the while, these earthquakes were happening. And then, once the earthquakes had finally blocked off the passageway, back to here, they attacked in full force. Question I wonder is, were they just taking advantage of the earthquake? Or were they causing it? I don't know. Alright, the other thing, by the way, I want to mention is that... Didn't I have a ring of regeneration? Like, I'm 99% certain I had a ring of regeneration, and yet I look in here and I only see the spellcasting ring. So where in the hell is my other ring? I, I, I might, like, review the old videos to see what the hell I missed. Did I, like, accidentally drop it or something? Where did it go? I've looked at my inventory. I don't think it's here. No, it's not here. Yeah, where the hell did it go? I have no idea. Anyway, alright, well it looks like the throne is actually marked on the map, so I could just go straight there if I wanted to, but let's just keep exploring around the city, see what I can find, and hopefully find somewhere to put my damn stuff, because my inventory is packed to the... to the... rim. That's right, my inventory is like a, a jar, and I've, I'm filling it with liquid contents. Hmm, where does this go? Looks like a potential future quest area, but I can't go into it right now. Looks like it leads to the sewers. If indeed there are any sewers. There typically are. Okay, where have I not been? Apparently I've not been here. Whoa. Where's this taking me? Oh wait, I think it's actually taking me to the throne. Oh, it is. Okay, well, we're here. Let's go speak to the king and inform him. I'm sure he will do his due diligence and... 
respectfully confront this new threat head on, right? He's probably going to be a stupid drunkard. Respect the laws of the kingdom. Of course. We are the protectors of the kingdom of arts. <clears throat> I have been informed of unrest in the lower levels of the city. Ah, there's a bard. At your command. My name is Am Shigar. I escaped from one of the goblin prisons and I've been sent by Ortiern. He and his men are trapped at your outpost. He says he needs help to clear the pathway to the castle, which is blocked by a landslide. They have also been attacked by a small number of Ilsids and will be unable to resist another attack. Good heavens! These are grave tidings, Amshigar. You have done our kingdom a great service, and you have our deepest gratitude. You will be rewarded commensurate with the risks you've taken to bring us this news. This cave-in is no small problem, however, and its solution will take some consideration. I have decided on a course of action. You will take this message to Pog, King of the Trolls. His people are very capable miners. They have even helped construct this village. The Trolls live one level below us. You may have encountered them already. They are just as ugly as goblins, but five times the size. But relations are excellent between our two kingdoms, just the same. We have a shared hatred for the Ratmen. I am sure they will provide immediate help. It seems I can't escape being drawn into these events. Well, I shall help you. But I expect your help in return. Do not fear. You shall be well rewarded for this task. Gold will do me little good if I can't regain my memory. I'm sure it will all come back to you. The goblins must have given you a serious knock to the head, that's all. Don't worry. And now, I beseech you, take this message as the kingdom's emissary to Pog, king of the trolls. <laughs> I like how the bard guy in the background moved from there to there so he could be behind me. And then he just, like, stopped playing mid-song as if he's like, 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 script? Script? What am I supposed to be doing? Oh no, I missed my marker. Alright, well I'm surprised. I thought this king would be a, like a stupid drunkard, but he's actually quite nice. Lord Lunshire, King of Ox. Now, I beg of you, Amshigar, go and speak to Pog, the King of the Trolls. He won't even talk to me. I wonder if I can maybe steal some stuff from the rooms here. There's gotta be some good Ugh. stuff. Let's go take a look at this castle. Let's see what my quest actually says to do, too. <sighs> yeah, King of the Trolls. I think the King of the Trolls is inside... Like, Do you remember that place that had the troll guarding the... Well, it wasn't a door. He's guarding the opening. He wouldn't let me in because I wasn't a friend to the trolls. So how do I become a friend to the trolls? You know, if I remember right... Actually, no, I definitely remember right. Um, I, I didn't encounter it while recording, but before when I was playing, there is actually a troll outside of the kind of the troll area. He just lives on his own. And uh, I got a quest to, like, give him a birthday present or something like that. <laughs> or some sort of a gift or something of the sort. I never completed it, but I'm guessing if I do that, perhaps he'll vouch for me and he'll, he'll let me inside the troll territory. <coughs> Council room. There's gotta be something I can steal here. Ah, oh, it's locked. Far too quiet. I don't like it. I bet I can take two Ilsids on my own. I'm not paid to stand and chat. Oh, here we go. Hello? <gasps> can I steal all of this food? I don't even think I have room for it. La -di -da, da 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 Oh. Okay. Yeah, she doesn't care. Must have been that. What? What are you talking about? La -di -da, da, da, da. You're creeping me out. Please stop breathing down my neck. Okay, I do want to take as much wine as possible because it's kind of like a mini health potion. <coughs> Although... 
It does get you drunk if you drink too much. Okay, here's what I don't understand, though. How come these bottles of wine here don't stack? I've got four here and one here. They won't stack. Why? Can I only have four in a stack? I'm sure I've forgotten something. Um... Actually, I don't think I'll take any more. Hey, there's rats in this pantry! Food safety standards have gone lax. Cooking for Goblins by Durai Palua. Hmm. Mm. Maybe I can get some recipes. Alright. Yeah, there's a ton of food and ingredients here, but uh, I really don't need food. I also don't need that piece of wood that can act as a lever. So I've already got one in my inventory, so let's not do that. Whoa, what was that? Hold on. There's something up there. <laughs> I seem to be pretty good at finding these secret things. Uh, poison... Calm down, feet. Poise, poison pro projection. I can't hold it. Hold on. Um, here it is. Recipe for Siam bills. Mix the sugar and flour. Add the required amount of water and knead the dough until it is of an even consistency. When this has been done, put it in the oven, taking care not to burn it. Once this cooked, take, take a chicken's egg and mix the white and the yolk. Spread this mixture on your cake and put it back in the oven for a minute or so. Hmm. Okay. I haven't actually seen sugar, though. Nor have I seen any eggs. Uh, I'm just going to drop this here. And I think I'm going to drop all the books here. Actually... Just so I don't forget it, actually, because I think I'm going to be coming back here quite a few times. Let's go ahead and drop the stuff, like, in the center of the castle. So anytime I come back to the king, which I'm probably going to have to do, I'm guessing, I won't lose it, because I have no idea where to put this stuff. And uh, I don't think I need to read this stuff ever again, really. What about this piece of paper? Hog me, Lunshire need help. Next time I see what the hell him, is this? I'll tell him what I really think. <clears throat> is that from? Oh, it's from Lunshire, but he wrote it in a way that the trolls understand. I guess <laughs> that's pretty cool. If trolls can unblock pathway, me happy. <laughs> okay, I better keep that one. one more day, I want to keep that just in case it's important. Uh, this is irrelevant. That's old, old, old. It's like the first thing I picked up. Next time I Key to the Goblin's Outpost. Really uh, did I already use this? Did I use this? I can't remember if I used this key. Alright, well that should be fine. Eat some carrots. Save a little bit of room. I want the damn scroll. It's going to give me three saved up spells, which is the most I can hold. Hmm. Where did you go? There we go. So I've got, what, invisibility, I've got that poison whatever thing, and then I don't even remember what the hell the other one was. I think it's a dispel. Yeah, let's see what's down here. Looks jaily. No, oh, this is the jail. Trap door went open. Well, that's an exciting place. Perhaps in the future I can interrogate a prisoner or something. But not today. I really need to find somewhere to. Snake woman makes me sick. I really need to find somewhere to process my stuff. Like make some potions, things of that sort. I could process my food. I do have a bunch of ribs. I don't really feel like it though. I should have been cooked. That's easier. Must have been that. I don't. I think I'm going to find a place to store my stuff inside of the castle. I 
wonder if there's even if there even is a place to store your stuff. Hi. A dagger. No thanks. Whoa, a helmet. Hold on. Plus seven armor, casting that minus three percent. Makes me sick. Mm, required fourteen strength. I don't think I have enough. Do I? No, I only have eleven. Okay. How big is that? Oh, it's only one slot. Yeah, I'll take it with me. I mean, I'll take that armor. Plus seven armor. What's my current armor? Yeah, my current armor class is freaking four. I'll take a plus seven. That's only a minor decrease to my magic. That's no big deal. Hey guys, playing cards? Well, you better better play 50 whatever card pickup. I can't remember how many cards are in a deck. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave. <laughs> There's probably a lot of stuff to pick up, but the problem is I don't have any room. Back to the town. Let's try to find a store or something. This map is of limited use. It's really quite unclear exactly where I can go. Because of the weird fog of war thing on it. Alright, I think there's quite a bit of area over here I have not explored. Yeah, this entire area I have actually not explored. Okay. Alright, so this is like the thing I saw back there near the castle, except this one is not broken. Maybe you can activate these in the future and they are teleporters to like quickly get Don't you between levels. Yourself, no problem, Captain. What were you two talking about? Hello, strange man. I'm Shaney. Have you come to take me back? Ma and the guards are always telling me to stay out of here because things from the deeper levels can get in through the crypt. But I like playing with the stone heroes. Tell me about the crypt, Shaney. Well, don't tell anyone. But one day, when the door wasn't shut properly, I went all the way down four levels. It was really scary. Okay, I have to go now. See you later. Hmm, where's the crypt? What the hell was that? Are you pretending you're a chicken? You have a big nose. <laughs> Thank you. Asshole. Okay, maybe this is a place where I can store stuff, or maybe it's just a shop. Welcome to my stall, traveler. I'm Maria. Please take a look at my wares, and let me know if you find anything you'd like. Hold on, what's back here? Does she mind if I go back here? Okay, she doesn't care. Hmm. I just picked her flowers. I'm such a dick. Okay. Um, so let's see. So I could just sell stuff by just dragging it in here, right? Ooh, an apple. I could maybe make apple pie. Yes. All right. Water lily powder. Wait, why does that say red 60? Like, why is that red? And this one's green. I'm assuming green means you're selling it and red means you're buying it. But how can I buy this? It's in my inventory. I don't get it. Hold on, I better save it first. Let's see. And I want to know if this price is giving me is per powder or for the entire stack. Okay, so I've got... Oh, shit, he gave me a bunch of money. I had like eight gold before. Now I have 508. Holy crap. Okay. I feel Damn, you can make a lot of money from powders. Look at that, I just sold one. And she gave me 19. Whoa. But now I just want to hold on to it. 
Okay, so yeah, why is this red 363? Is she going to... Does she want me to pay her to take it? Like, what the hell? Let's see what happens. Doesn't even work. Does that mean she doesn't have enough money? Oh, I think it might mean she doesn't have enough money. Yeah, I think that's what it means. Okay. Well, anyway, let's see if she sells anything I actually need. Potion of invincibility, uh, invisibility? I've already got a spell of it, but uh, wouldn't hurt to have another, but it is really, really expensive. Holy crap, 594. Yeah, holy shit, these potions are expensive. I should probably make potions and sell the potions. Instead of selling the raw powders that make the potions. I just don't know how to make the potions, though. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Maybe you just put the powders in the bottle. Like an empty bottle and mix it with water. Hold on. Uh, I think I have some water. Yeah, I've got a bunch of water. Okay. Um, yeah, wait, 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 wait. Look at this. It's blinking. Yeah, a bottle full of green powder. And then I probably just mix water into it, right? No. No? It's not blinking. Okay, uh, maybe it needs a different color powder? See if any of these will blink with the, the green one. No. Okay, so how do I finish it? I have a bottle full of green powder, so I need, I need liquid, right? Hmm. I feel like I do need an alchemical laboratory or something. Yeah, I don't know how to make them. I've already got two uses left on these tools, so I think I'll stick with that. They take up quite a bit of room. A fishing rod? Can you catch fish? That'd be super cool. Oh, oh. Can actually buy runes. They're very expensive, though. A pickaxe! Ooh, I can use that to get, uh, the, uh, gems. A shovel. I don't even know what that can be used for. It's really huge, though. I really need to dump my stuff. And I actually want those tools. Quite badly. I need to find somewhere to dump my stuff. Okay, she's marked on the map, right? Yeah. Alright, so I can come back here. I, yeah, I really need to find somewhere to dump my stuff. And I think this is the crypt. As a result of numerous incidents, we request that you do not loiter near the crypt. Carlo. Ah. Needs a key. Oh, perhaps if I talk to Carlo, he can let me pacify the crypt. Pacify is a euphemism. It means kill everything. Leave me alone! Or I'll call the guards! <laughs> okay. Go away! Leave me or alone! I'll call the guards! Or I'll call the guards! <laughs> That's weird. There's... Twins living next door to each other that say the exact same thing as if it's from a script. Hmm. How do I make potions? I wonder if I actually have everything to make potions on myself already and I just don't know it. What are you doing in the water, doggy? Get out of there. There you go. The worst thing about trolls being stupid is that anyway, it's hereditary. <laughs> we can just steal his fish. That doesn't go anywhere. I wish I could buy a backpack. Get more storage room. I don't know, perhaps you can. Oh, is this, this is the other side of the blockade. Or, not a blockade, uh, yeah, the cave-in, right? 
I'll never be able to move all this myself. Mm hmm. I'm starting to think there's going to be nowhere to ever put my stuff. Is there anything I can sell? I mean, I kind of want to just sell all my food. <laughs> but if I start getting hurt, I'm really going to want it bad. Okay, well, I don't need a bajillion mushrooms. I mean, what do I need and what do I not need? Like, I need the pieces of paper. I need that. Uh, I don't know if I need the hammers to repair stuff. I might. I might not. There's, like, almost nothing I want to get rid of. I feel like I'm going to need the rope at some point to, you know, repair some mechanism. I don't know. I don't know. I really want those tools, though. Oops. Hello. Who are you? Come and visit my shop during working hours. You mean I can't sell stuff right now? Locked. Oh. Tefioc, the shopkeeper. Alright, well I guess I'm going to sell a bunch of mushrooms to free up a little bit of room. Not that that's going to do much. In fact, you can have all of my mushrooms. In fact, I think I'm going to stop picking them up because they're not worth a damn. But I do want to keep my ribs and my bread. Gemstones worth 60. Which she does not have the money for. I'll sell that wine, keep the rest in a stack. Mm, there's nothing else I actually want to get rid of, but there's stuff I want to drop. I feel tired. I'm gonna leave it here. Put the rope here, put the lever here. <laughs> just a stack of goods. I don't think I need the key anymore. I'm just going to drop the key. I don't think I need it. Okay, I got quite a bit of room now. And I can free up a little bit more if I process these powders. Now let's go buy some tools. I kind of want the shovel, but I seriously don't know what the hell it's for. I've never seen anything that I could think of that would use a shovel. I'm just going to leave it. I think it's time to go pay the trolls a visit. Okay, entrance to level 2 is where? Here? That doesn't seem right. That does not seem right at all. I'm pretty sure it's back here. Oh wait. Welcome to my shop, friend. I am Miguel. Arms and armor are my trade and my life. If you need anything repaired, just leave it with me and I'll get right to it. Excellent. Let me tell you. 
I've seen many a young tough beguiled by some pretty fretwork or flashy inlay. But my advice is to choose a weapon that best fits your combat style. Thank you, man, informing me that I should choose weapons that fit my statistics. Whoa! Holy shit, that is beautiful. Whoa. I think I want to spend all my money on this. Alright, I've got 440. Leather leggings, that's what I already have. Too expensive, too expensive. Look, these things glow! They freaking glow! They're light leather leggings of extra protection. Yeah, this stuff is way too expensive. I can't even afford a leather chest piece. Okay, well, I'm not going to go with the leather stuff, actually, because I don't care about stealth. So, screw that. Uh, shield. Yeah, shield would be nice. Oh, well, there's a bow. But I don't really want to use ranged stuff. Should probably buy a shield. Alright, I already got a sword. It's fine. My sword's fine. Long sword would be nice. Can't afford it, though. Thing is, though, if I'm gonna buy a shield... I almost want to just save up for, like, this one. <coughs> Let's see, um... Plus three armor, this one's what, plus two? That's actually not a huge difference. Yeah, okay, I'll just, I'll just buy this one, for now. There we go. And by the way, uh, the shield is not actually like an active blocking type thing where you need to block specific blows. It's just, it's just a passive. Like all it really does is add to your armor skill and that's all it does. So you don't need to hold it up or anything like that. It's a, it's a very classic way of doing shields, I suppose. You know, just a statistic. Not something you have to actively manage. Yeah, where the hell did I come into this place? I mean, it says level 2 up there, but I'm pretty sure that's not where I went, but, ah, uh, alright. I'll go towards it. Here it is. Yeah, this is where I came out from. Yeah, it's not even marked on the map. Like, it, I think that's where it starts to say level 2 or whatever, but it just, it's cut off. The, uh, the map is not very good. Damn, that's a quick loading screen. Okay, there we go. I can't believe the entrance to the entire town is this little out-of-the-way tiny staircase just in some dingy cave full of spiders. Alright, at least that's clearly marked. Kind of. Okay. Um, where's this troll guy that I need to give a gift to? What the hell kind of a gift does he even want? I don't even know. I do, however, know that I have a pickaxe. Which I don't think I can use on these things. No, I need to use it on the... the smaller ones. The ones that are darker. Is there one here? Nope. I'm itching to use my pickaxe. There's one! Alright, is this gonna work? Eh? Yes. Object received. Gemstone. I think they'll sell for, what was it, 70? Make some pretty good money from that. Still don't know what the damn shovel's for, though. Okay. So how do I get back? Do I have to go to level 3? Or can I go this way? Can't go that way. There's something very satisfying about mining. Feels good. Yeah, I guess I have to go to level 3. I'm gonna make a lot of money from this. I feel like the prospecting life is for me.
Right, that's where this takes me to. So right up here is the trolls, yep. And of course they're probably not going to let me in, although maybe if I show them the piece of paper they will. Let's see. Yeah, gur gur gur. Alright, which one? Okay, there we go, that's the one. Here. I have a note from the king of the humans. Hmm. You friend of Loonshire? You pass. Okay, so I don't have to do the other the other quest. The one that I don't even have yet. To get inside. Cool. Uh, He's still angry at me, even though I'm his friend. We must know. What are you doing there, goblin? Me, troll farming. Me have big problems. Trolls on strike. They not tell me why. They not trust me. On strike? So the trolls work for you? Yes. Trolls strong. Them mine gemstones. Goblins clever. Sell gemstones. Okay, so the trolls and the goblins are both very stupid, but I guess the goblins are like one step above them in intelligence. Also, Amshagar sounds like a total freaking bigot. It's like, what are you doing there, goblin? Jeez, man. Hmm, cooked ribs. Yum. You see? Me thinking. Now, if I remember right, the Troll King, or whatever the hell he is, is quite a character. I just need to find him. Where the hell am I going? I think these are the mines, actually. Oh, thankfully they're on strike. All the better for me. <laughs> what? Oh man, I could have just picked up a pickaxe. Well, they stack, so I suppose I can sell one. <laughs> Ooh, you're wearing bling. Hello. King Pog, I presume. I know you do not like strangers, but I bear a message from King Lunshire. He has something to ask you. I is Lunshire's friend. You give me note. Okay, you know what? I don't think it's actually the Troll King that I'm remembering that is uh, quite a character, but it's actually the hmm. Goblin King, I think. I just remember something about someone on a throne being a jackass. It's gotta be the Goblins. Pathway blah. Me want help your people, but first, humans must help trolls get back lost treasure. Since I escaped, I've spent all my time helping other people. But I have little choice in the matter, I suppose. And perhaps it would be good for my memory, so tell me of this lost treasure. Bad thief stole our idol. Idol protect troll work. Stop cave falling on our head. So now, no idol. Troll not work for goblins anymore. What do you do for the goblins? Gather gemstones in mines. Goblins sell them and give us little bit of gold. Well, I'll get your idol back for you. An idol has been stolen from the trolls. They won't help me until this object has been returned to them. I will search the goblin area for it. That is disturbingly unspecific. I, I don't suppose it's been marked on the map, has it? Probably not. I have no fucking clue where it would be. So, let's just explore areas I've never been to. Damn, gobblers. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. That axe does five damage. My short sword only does four. Hmm. 
Yeah, let's give this thing a shot. Yo, I'm in your throne. I'm your new king. <laughs> you uh, wouldn't happen to know where an idol would be, would you? I know why the trolls are on strike. Someone has stolen their idol. The thief must be caught. A thief? Me heard rumors about idol. Goblins telling me. You follow me. Me open Goblin City for you. Oh, sweet. Well, thank you very much. I'm glad I spoke to you, or I would have been completely and utterly lost. I'm just gonna go on ahead and wait for you, okay? Ah, human! You wanting trade gemstones? See a lot hard! Ah, human! You not as clever as goblins! But me let you into Goblin City anyhow. <laughs> you do quickly. Goblin King in big trouble soon. If not, go back to work. Why will the Goblin King be in trouble? It would be just after all, considering your mistreatment of the trolls. That's how things should be. Trolls strong. Them mine gemstones. Goblins clever. Sell gemstones. <laughs> Open gate. Let disgusting human in! Oh, alright then! I love the dialogue. Alright, thank you very much. You do quickly, yes! Goblin King in big trouble soon if throws not go back to work! <laughs> you look bad! Oh, thanks. You too. How are you doing that? Do you have magic too? So stupid. <laughs> oh, yuck. You not mess with us. Human. Well, that is a massive, like, patchwork of hides, I think. Huh. Strange. I feel the need to light every single torch possible. Ah, the cook. Our king, he loves the cakes. Hosting <laughs> in big trouble. Miner striking. No more gemstones. I need more cakes. Our king, good king. Nobody bother him, so I just slip the cakes under his door. Do they seriously? Here are delicious cakes, <laughs> Majesty. Me slip them under the door. They actually made somebody with a goblin voice and an extremely stereotypical, cheesy, what is that, French accent? They actually combined those two things. Goblin with incredibly cheesy French chef accent. Wow. That is amazing. Cookie dough. Ooh. Can I? Oh, I can't pick it up. Damn it, I wanted to make cookies. Now, if I remember right, there's actually something you need to, like, do with the ingredients here to progress. Maybe some sort of a poisoning. Something. Oh, a bunch of apples. Holy crap. Okay, 
Um, how do you make apple pie? I'm trying to remember. Let's see. Uh, I think you need dough. Let me see if I can make apple pie. Okay, so water plus dough, or water plus flour equals dough. And then use the rolling pin on the dough, I think. Yeah, there we go. Uncooked pie, okay. It's just the pie crust, though, so now I need apples, I think. Uncooked apple pie! Oh my god! I think it's gonna work. Yes! Beautiful, that doesn't look like an apple pie, but nonetheless, beautiful. Hmm. Smells so good. Oh yeah. I wonder how much health that restores. Probably a hell of a lot more than bread, I would imagine. Just because there's more steps to it. Maybe I should make a bunch more. Let's make some more. I'll make four apple pies, that should be fine. Beautiful. Oh, he even bakes salt. his own little cakes. It needs a little more salt. <laughs> that accent is horrible. Uh, I think you get some water or wine from this. Probably use a bottle on it and see what it gives you. Oh, it gives you wine, okay. Alright, I feel like I don't even need to actually get cooking ingredients, because I could just come to a cook's place and they have like everything right there. So maybe I shouldn't keep cooking ingredients on me. So yeah, I'm actually just going to dump the flour. In a couple of awkward white piles on the ground. <laughs> Holy shit, I just realized these, unco these cooked ribs are huge! Whoa! Those must be from like a pig or something, not a rat. I I'm just going to eat those, they're a little bit too big. Alright, take a look around. Restricted access. Hmm. Ooh. I see some gems. Whoa. Dude, what the fuck are you doing? Did you seriously just trap me in this corner? Dude. I would love to go away if you would please get out of my way. This, uh, this looks a little bit strange. Come on, man. Is he seriously never gonna move? Me, important card of Lord Alatar, stupid human! Oh, I think I'm gonna have to load my game. Oh dear god. Alright, I'm gonna see if I can find a way out of this. Okay, couldn't escape, so I just loaded my game, which thankfully was just right here. I, uh, I did try to pick the door, though. I tried to pick the lock, and I couldn't. So I really need to upgrade my lockpicking skill. Because it seems I'm incapable of lockpicking any door in existence, ever. It's a pretty nice looking pad. Whoa. Hello. Paper, disable trap. Poisonous potion. Maybe I need to put the poison into the case. Lock. Locked. Alright, let's try this damn thing. Come there on. You go. Wow, that's the first thing I've ever lockpicked. Okay. Sweet. Whoa. A chest piece of extra protection. I don't even have a chest piece. That is incredible. Okay. Sweet. Beautiful. Actually looking like a proper warrior now.
A wooden stake? What the hell? Is that for vampires? Got so many apple pies. I'm actually, you know, now that I've got so many apple pies and like a full stack of bread, I'm just gonna... I know the ribs and the fish don't give you much food. Same with the cheese. So I'm just gonna keep like the more important stuff and just leave the less important foods behind. Alright. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, by the way, when I was searching around for the exit in the, uh, the city of Arks, I went into somebody's home and stole a silver ring. It doesn't do anything, I think it's just for selling. Whoa, wait, 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 what is this? A bottle of wine. I can put the bottle of wine in the apple pie? What? What the hell does that do? Okay. Now I've got an apple pie that's gonna make someone drunk? What? Okay, I can poison. But poison. I can poison my sword. I can poison my sword. I can't poison the apple pie, though. I almost want to take this steak, just in case I find a vampire. No, that's dumb. That's stupid. Oh, wow. That thing's very sharp. Just stuck in the table. Okay, what did I pick up? Not that. Mm, oh! <laughs> I think I'm one step ahead of this note. Oh, King, you... You has to remember, never ever drink wine. You is allergic to wine. If you drinking wine, you is getting bad pain. Your devotedest apothecary. Okay. Well, I guess I've already done it. I don't actually know why I'm doing this, though. Is, it, is this just to be able to talk to him, or am I trying to get into his chamber? Because the idol is, I'm assuming, inside, or what? Okay. So I need to get him to eat this. How would I do that? Do I do I mean he passes it under the door. Can I just put my own down there? How is this not working? The plan was perfect. Shit. Okay, maybe I need to get the cook to do it or something? Look somewhere else. <laughs> I feel like I need to follow the cook. Although he's not doing anything yet. He's kind of just hanging out there. He'll probably come back, though. Uh, let's see if I've been this way. No, I have not. Ah, Here comes human. Oops. Sorry, me come back later. <laughs> what the hell was happening in here? You not mess with you us. You not human. mess with us. Human. You leave me alone. <laughs> Are you? Are you okay in there? Engaged. <laughs> Engaged. Engaged. Okay, I'm just gonna leave you to your business. But this me home. What you want here? I am a gem dealer. Who are you? You call me Lord Attack. Me could be king, you know. A lot of cheated Dublin election. Now, he stuffed face all day with cakes. That, that should be mine. Right. Only because you're just stupid human, let me tell you this. Me time precious. Go play with your stupid gemstone. <laughs> okay. Ah, nice potion. Oh, some tools. Sweet. Don't need the rope. Don't need the wine. Ah, there is something under his pillow. Always check under pillows. A little metal key. 
Ooh. That's a very interesting shape to that key. It's actually quite pretty. Question is, though, what the hell does it go to? He's the quartermaster, so I'm guessing it goes to the supply closet with all of the gems and stuff. You probably think I'm fucking nuts doing this. Throwing everyone's pillows about. Atok should have been the king. See if the cook is back. Nope. Okay, um... Hmm. Maybe I can poison the cookie dough. Right. Let us wait and see what happens. Ah, okay. So why did I poison the pie? If the cookie dough works, why did I do this? I don't know. Is the cook coming back? It doesn't appear to be. No, he's still hanging out there. All right, well, let's see if the key goes to this. It doesn't. Okay, what the hell does the key go to? Okay, well, I have no idea why he stopped moving, but I looked it up online and it seems like you can just do the poisoning yourself by doing the whole apple pie thing that I just did. The only difference is, instead of just kind of plopping it down here, you have to actually use it on the door. So that should work. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's working! Oh my god, you're hideous! Okay, well, while he's off to the bathroom... Let's go ahead and find this idol. Uh, let's be quick. Locked. Shit, okay. Come on. That's not possible. One more try. It's impossible. Okay, it seems it is literally impossible. Uh, what the, what the hell is this? What the fuck? I don't know no password. Shit. Something is wrong. This is strangely smart for a very stupid Goblin King. I don't know, maybe he's smarter than I give him credit for. Locked. Okay, actually, wait, maybe the key works. Locked. Nope. What the hell would the password be? I have no idea. <laughs> well, let's go find him in his room. Hi. <laughs> an undignified meeting. My name is Am Shigar. Are you the king? Can't humans see? Who you think you talking to? Me, king of arcs. I mean, king of goblins at moment. Mm-hmm. Get lost. Leave me alone. Okay. Thief! Whoa. Okay, so there is actually some behavior where they can actually tell you're a thief. So far, no one's done that. Let's see if he has anything on him. I'm gonna load my save, of course. Yeah! Ow. I think I'm actually gonna die. Yeah! Oh, oh no! Okay. <laughs> Maybe he's a vampire. Nope. Confirmed. Not a vampire. 
Okay, I have absolutely no freaking clue what to do. So there's a chest in the king's room that I can't open. There's some sort of a uh, sequence of numbers that I need to get in to open that thing over here. Whatever the hell it is. I don't even know what this opens. A secret compartment or something? And I have no idea where I'm supposed to get the password. I've looked around, like, I'm thinking maybe the goblin would be so stupid that they would just, like, inscribe it into the wall or something, because they would keep forgetting it otherwise, but I can't find it. I've, uh, taken a look at my pieces of paper. I don't see it anywhere on here. Nothing I have is relevant. Yeah, I just, I don't know. I'll probably look it up in a walkthrough. I'm starting to remember why I stopped playing this game. I think this was it. Like, despite all the cool stuff it does, it there. I think there's a lot of times where you're just kind of wandering around wondering, what the hell am I supposed to do? I mean, on one hand, it's kind of nice to have a game that doesn't just handhold you constantly. But on the other hand, I think they maybe went too far in the other direction. Maybe. Anyway, I'm definitely not done with this game yet, so I will definitely return. So I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.